Excuse me, you haven't got a pen on you I could borrow quickly, have you? Oh, thank you. Hang on, I just... Oh, I've been listening to my iPod. I think I've got a build-up of wax. Sexy funny. Oh, oh, hello, darlings. Oh, you just caught me. I'm just off to sell a cow at a cattle auction. I've, I've never sold a cow before, you understand, but I'm not going to let that stop me. TTFN. <laughs> It's got four legs and a couple of ears. It's, uh, oh, it's, it's a bit smelly. Can you smell that? Is that the cow, is it? I think it's methane in the air. It's, oh, I think it's doing a wee. Oh, I'll start the bid now. Shit on me. Oh. Oh. Oh, what was I? Um... I'd say I'm probably more like. Oh my god, I'm not like Jesus. I'm like Paul Daniels. Yeah, I'm like a magician. I'm like Paul Daniels and Debbie McGee all in one. The best of both. I've got Debbie McGee's tits but Paul Daniel's hands. For me, that's a winning combination. Hello! Hi then! Right, put your little face in there. You've got to keep your head down. I bet you haven't heard that before. I haven't got anything in my teeth. Bye-bye. A broccoli? No. Onion? Pubes? Oh, no. Good. Had a right old night last night. I've got a boyfriend. He just... He got uh, released from prison yesterday. We had our reunion last night. Oh, I'll tell it, you was, what. Was it good? Two words. Rat. Drain pipe. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's raw down there, like sushi. Oh, do you like sushi? I do like sushi, but not anymore. What are you trying to say? <laughs> Honestly? <laughs> right, let's get your top off. I'm going to put some relaxing music on. Right, where was it? Suction treatment? Suction, Do you right. feel relaxed? Yeah, yeah, Do you think you might fall asleep? Maybe. Here we go. This is my suction machine. Do you like it? It's a hoover. No, it's not. It's an old ancient Japanese therapy. It's brilliant. I mean, sometimes I use it in the bedroom to spice things up. And then I use it to clear up after. Here we go. Look, this is what I'm going to... Basically, this is how it works on your skin. Some of uh, Gab's jizz on your back. Sorry. Everybody wanna be a superstar. I mean, I don't personally see it as like letting the wrong people not come in. I let the right people in, and that means a lot to me. Excuse me, are you on the guest list? What guest list? The guest list for the private party. Can you just hold on a minute private there, sir? I just need to ask you a few questions. What's your name, sir? Why? Oh. Why? Yeah. Why? Are you, are you Arabic? Why what? Stop right there in the name of... Oh. I gotta you are I'm definitely not coming in. Why hasn't he been stopped? Sorry, Why? Have you got a bit of an attitude on you, sir. Yeah, tell me about it. You could probably do with a drink to relax. Oh, oh dear. How embarrassing. Oh, hello, darlings. You just caught me. I was just checking to see if I smelt. I'm Lady Gatecrasher, and I like Ramsey. 
as in Papa Razzi. <laughs> I can't go, like, a second without a guy looking at me, everywhere I go. Let's look at that guy over there. He's staring at me. So embarrassing. It's actually making me feel a bit... I'm getting a bit creeped out by him. It's a bit weird. So stop staring, weirdo. <gasps> it's a very special day. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hi, yeah. How can I help you? I've got to get someone a birthday card. It's my friend's birthday. Can you show me where they are? She's about my height. It's like yeah. kind of blonde curly hair. Yeah. What about these ones? These look kind of pink and cute and girly. She's very girly and very okay. silly and very giggly. <laughs> <laughs> How much is that? Um, two five. Oh no, something cheaper. Uh, what about that? You choose. You choose. Oh look! It's nice. Oh, oh yeah, she likes that yes. one. You want to give me a porking on my birthday? A little piggy porking. Yeah. That's the one. You wouldn't mind actually writing it for me, would you? To Minky. Dearest. Oh. <laughs> so romantic. Dearest. Go on then. I love that about you. To the most beautiful girl I know. Love question mark. <laughs> Go on. Why not? Just put it in the envelope. I can't look, cos then it ruins the surprise. <laughs> I can't wait, I can't wait, I can't wait! I'm not good with surprises. <sighs> OK, can I turn around now? Yeah. Oh, you remembered? Uh, it's your friend. It smells of you. <sighs> oh, pigs! You know I love pigs! Oink, oink! It's the most beautiful pig. You know what? You're going to get it tonight. Get what? I'm going to give it to you later. That is what I'm going to do to say thank you for remembering my birthday. My name is Cassandra Pop Smythe, and I've just discovered this really new form of yoga. It's called Roga, and it's fabby. You should really try it. It's totally the bomb. Roga was taught to me by my really good friend, Roger. Basically, what he does is he uses natural resources. He uses the art and energy as a way of energising his body. Just imagine there's a big mound of positive energy right in front of you. And what you're going to do is you're going to take a little bit off and we're just going to chop up the positive energy. We're going to feel it between our fingers. Some bits are really rocky. You want to just get it all nice and powdery. And what we're going to do is we're going to clear the airways. We're going to clear the nostrils one by one to cover our left nostril. Astral. We're going to go right down to the positive energy that we've just separated, ready to take into our body. You're going to shovel it all in and get as much of it up there as you can and really, really, really take it in a big, deep breath. And then put your head back. Oh, that's it. It's really hitting the spot. <coughs> Just cover your both your nostrils and just sniff up all the last bits. You might have a bogey or two. Isn't that totally the bomb? <laughs> Excuse me, sorry. I wonder if you could help me. I'm a bit stuck. I don't know what's wrong with it. I've been here for hours. I just want to get to the third floor. It's a telephone kiosk. Not a lift. It's not a lift. I keep pressing third floor and nothing... No, it says next call. It's a telephone kiosk. I, but I don't know what you mean. There's nowhere to go. There's no lift to But lift. there's nowhere to go. It's not taking me anywhere. I'm going to miss my meeting at this yeah. rate. Yeah. Uh, well, I don't know, but you won't get it from me at any way. When... What should I do? Uh, perhaps go into one of, the, one of the stores and explain where you want OK. To I'll do that. OK. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, he was sweet. He was nice, 75. He worked in a card shop. He was a stationer. Hang on a minute, why am I here? Is this a surprise party? 
No. There's no one here. That's why you brought me here. You came in. Yeah, I came in because you invited me. Oh, my God, you've gone to such a... Look what you've got here for me. <gasps> it's a party. Surprise. Oh, oh, it's my party. This is, like, the happiest day of my life, Bam Marigi. You've never met you before. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> you don't know me. Yeah, I feel like I don't know you at the moment because you're being really weird. You can give me it's my a... present now. Present? My present. This is called a gift shop. Remember what yeah. you said you were going to give me as a birthday present? Um. Uh... Friend. You're Willy in a ribbon. Uh-huh. You're Willy in a ribbon. I'm basically 16 years old. Yay! <laughs> I love that when we roleplay. And I'm 11. You're in a really strange mood. Like, you're really at now putting a downer on my birthday. Cake! Oh, my God, you got me cake! <laughs> cake! 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 Like the candles. Oh, there's no cake. Oh. I know what's going on here. I know what's going on. You're feeling vulnerable. You have emotional wounds from the past. I'm not Susan. I'm not going to break your heart. Come on, you know everything about me. Where are my tattoos? I don't know where your tattoos are. See, exactly. Are. I haven't got any. <laughs> oh, you see? I have no idea. Because it's me and you. It's me. It's Minky. Minky? Minky. Don't you want to see it? Oh, my God. It doesn't say, it doesn't say Minky, does it? Don't you want to see me? Oh, my God. Look, these minks are yours. Minky! So minky. Why is there no one here? <laughs> Come on. Let's work at this relationship. What relationship? We don't have a relationship. I feel like I'm talking to a brick wall. Yeah. Why are you being so mean to me on my I'm birthday? Your you keep saying that. I'm your girlfriend. What's wrong with you? Why won't you open You're up? You're like 20 something, and I'm like 16. So? Um. Uh, so that didn't bother you the other night. Other night? We're over. You need to open up. Oh my God. We need to go to LA. You've got intimacy issues. Loser, I'm going to move on and find someone better. I don't need him. Sex and stole something from me. What about your scrotum? Can I do your scrotum? Do what to it? Get rid of the cellar and your scrotum. Just put one of the little fellas in here. Mm. <laughs> Don't know. <laughs> Hi, Sergio. We've got a problematic customer. Yeah, he won't leave. Yeah, he's wearing this gay necktie. I told him gay night was last night. He won't listen. Everybody wanna be a superstar. If you just arrive, you can go real far. Hi, are you on the list? Uh, no, I was about to say, do they have a waxing list? Waxing? Yeah. No, this isn't Madame Tussauds. This is a nightclub. Yeah. What are you carrying? Is that a piece? This is for a uh, hairdresser shop. Hairdressers? Yeah, yeah. I'm delivering some signs. Which Have we... you ever heard of the phrase, you can't polish a turd? You need more than a haircut, darling. <laughs> All right, thanks. Joke on. <laughs> the best advice I've ever given is never stick your tongue where you wouldn't stick your thumb. And I think that says a lot about us spiritually. Now, the next one is a possession we like to call the horse, or as I like to call it, the H. OK, so put your arm out and just tap your arms. I don't it's know definitely what... some form of yoga, yeah. It's, it's called yoga. 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 This is what I've learned. OK, so just check the bends in your arms. Tap them. Just tap them and tap the other. And you're looking for the main line. The best line to put some positive energy into our body. We're going to get a piece of ribbon or some cloth and we're going to wrap it around our arm. And what we're going to do is really tense the muscles and we're going to pull it really tight and just put it in your teeth. And just pull. That's it. That's it. Really get rid of all that stretching and go, ugh! Oh, ugh. Now what you want to do is basically grab some positive energy from the universe and you're going to plunge it into the main line. Plunge it in and as soon as it hits, you'll feel the effects and you'll drop to the floor. How do you all feel? You're dropping, you should feel really blessed out. Like, you should feel so totally, totally rad, totally the bomb. And everything is quiet. It's been a really good class, and you're having a great time, so thanks for coming. Just, I've got to go and meet Roger by the phone box, so I'll see you in a minute. 
Where's she gone? I always forget my handbag. I don't know why. I just I like to be free and my arms just kind of flap out the front door and I'm like, I'm leaving! On my way to meet my boyfriend's parents, we're going to a wedding. You got any lipstick? I got some lipstick. Oh, you are a superstar! Oh, do you know what? I just really want to make oh, yeah, such a good impression. You know? Yeah. I want them to look at me and be like, she is the girl for our son. What do you think? Excellent. Does the colour talk to me? Talk to face, yeah. What does it say? Um, you're mad. Oh, why have I got some in my tea? My name is Anna Shaw, and I am the editor of Catwalk magazine. Let me tell you what I expect out of my assistants. What was your name again, Tika? I don't want you to always say yes to everything. Understand? Yes. Do you eat breakfast? Yes. It's for whips. I have all of my food administered colonically. Do you know what that means? Yeah. Well, I have it liquidized and I have it pumped through my anus. <laughs> Would you mind stopping so I can get a salad? I would like you to go in and get me a Gianni Versace salad. I'd like it with pig's milk mozzarella, gold leaf, ironic lettuce, pine nuts. The pine nuts have to be from Iran. And I would like inverted raisins sprinkled on the top. Understand? Yes. That wasn't a question. Can I get a Gianni right, Versace salad? Versace? Is this for Anna? Yeah. Oh, right. Now, which raisins is it? Inverted raisins. That's the ones that we usually use. She's I, what, not usual, though. <laughs> I know. She, well, no, I'll tell you what. Ask her if those are the ones she means. Hurry up. What's this? Does that look like an inverted raisin to you? What's wrong with him? Is he deliberately trying to ruin my day? I don't want them. Well, let's get the salad made Versace first. Versace salad. Versace salad. What is this? What is this? It's, it, this isn't right. This isn't a Gianni Versace salad. This is upside down. Look at that. It's an upside down salad. Is it? It's upside down. What do you mean? It's upside down. Oh, right, OK, no problem. Right, upside down, simple. <laughs> she can't see, can she? No. Here we go, ready? One, two, three, up. There you go. Right way up. Hello? Why is he moving at such a glacial pace? Mm. Ask him if he found his brain in the bargain bucket. Ask him that. Did you get your brain from a bargain bucket? Hey? Do you think stupid is the new black? Yeah, because he's wearing a black shirt, so he Say again? Sorry. What's she saying? Did he toss it? Yeah. I mean, really, this is the simplest things. I can't believe what Amelia are making of this. Oh. 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 That is worse than an Izzy Mayaki jock strap. Can we drive off, please? Do my warming up exercises, just checking that people aren't carrying a piece. Can't come in. Sorry, sir, can I just stop you for a minute? What have you got in your bag? Uh, suits. Suits? Yeah. These aren't the dancers' outfits, are they? I know, so what are you Where's the lobby here? Did you get a ticket? Did you put them in the cloakroom? Just want to check it's not the dancers' outfits, because we've had lots of people steal their clothes. Oh, that's really nice. That's a suit. Is that yours? It's not mine. It's uh, from, the, from the shop. Why don't you wear that? You would definitely have pulled I in that jacket. I, you look a bit gay in that <laughs> vest. I look gay. <laughs> Hello? Hello, I'd like a burger and fries. A strawberry milkshake, a root beer, and an apple pie, but not too hot. Hello? Can you hear me? You look really familiar. Yeah? Are you a model? <laughs> I'm not. I wish really? I was. Really? No. Oh, good, no, you should be. Let me to ask you a favour. I'm a personal trainer. OK. And I have a potential client here with me. Right. Because you're in such good shape, I wonder if you could come over and just pretend that you were one of my clients. Yeah, but I, I can come over and speak. Do you house. mind? You're so kind. Oh, that's all right. Hi. Should we all eat? Yeah, yeah. Oh, God, hi there. How are you? 
thank you, thank you, sir. Oh, my God, I trained Sinclair for the triathlon. It's Sinclair, yeah. isn't it? Really? Would you say my style was like Mr. Motivator? Uh, it motivated me pretty well. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm nothing like Mr. Motivator. <laughs> I'm more like Jane Fonda. I'm not a man. What, what part of the triathlon did you find the hardest? Um, swimming. You never uh, had much upper body strength, did you? No, it's all below the belt, I'm afraid. His lower body strength was phenomenal. How much can you, uh, how much can you bench? Bench? Uh, I don't know, 80? Yeah. I could do 80 and a half. 18 and a half. Pretty easy. Yeah. Remember that time when, I'm, this is what a pro I am, when you tried it on with me? You came out the showers and he covered himself in Vaseline and he said he was training for the triathlon. She's very she's such a And he had this big Mate. hard on and I was like, I don't think so. He was yeah. crazy for my yoga. I was mad for it. Yeah. The angry fox. The angry, angry fox. The ang oh, show him the angry fox <laughs> that we used to do. Yeah. The angry the fox, fox pose. Do you remember it was like, I'm an angry fox. I'm angry fox. Yeah. Just put all the weight on your thighs. Remember you had such stuffy big thighs. Oh, they're still big. Wow, have you been shaving? Shaving. No, not recently. They're really soft for your legs. Wow, your girlfriend's lucky, isn't she? Yeah, she's lucky girl. Hey, you can do it as well. I'm an angry fox. I'm an angry fox. I don't want you to always say yes to everything. Understand? Yes. You want to give me a porking on my birthday? A little piggy porking? Yeah. I want them to look at me and be like, she is the girl for our son. He moved me pretty loud. Well. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> you look a bit gay in that vest. Are you gay? Sorry. I think I just got some of uh, Gab's jizz on your back. 365.